from your dog pose, walk your feet together. Walk closer towards your hands, facing the wall now. Lift one leg and lift up through your bottom heel, lift through the navel. Arms are stacked straight up and down and they don't move as you start exhaling and taking small or big hops, kicking up through the top leg for handstand preparation. If you make it to the wall, the other leg stays lowered for counterbalancing. And if you make it all the way up, bend the knees and suck that belly in, scooping the tailbone towards the ceiling. So a lot of core strength here. Then maybe one leg can lift, maybe another over time. You go at your own pace. Perhaps little hops is it for today, but that's very strengthening. Come on down, downward facing dog. Good. Bend the knees to the floor for a moment. And take a rest in child's pose, squeezing your wrists behind your back one at a time, opening up any compression there. Relax your head, relax your neck. And slowly come on up. Bring your hands back towards the wall, but give yourself some headroom. Downward facing dog. Walk your feet slowly forward. Shoulders come directly over wrists. Really lifting the other leg high this time, drawing up into the navel. Lift up, up, up through the bottom heel and really place the weight into your arms and your core as you exhale. Start to exhale and hop. Top leg is straight. Bottom leg follows it without kicking too fast too soon. So the arms are first priority here. If you make it all the way up, you bend those knees and back it off. Draw the navel in as you scoop that tailbone up and away from the wall. And the hips eventually centered. Arms are strong. You can make it up into your handstand. It's all from the hips and the arms here. Come down when you're ready. Downward facing dog to open up the spine and shoulders. And on your exhale, pop your knees forward towards the front of the mat. You can face the wall. Squeeze your wrists out one at a time. And to counterbalance that hand standing practice, roll your mat underneath your knees. So you'll get stronger faster when you counter stretch what you just worked. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fist to fire and lean back. Inhale, offering up. Exhale, fists in. So this helps to activate the navel and open up that low back. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, leaning back. Now stay back for a moment and wave from side to side. Navel is drawn in and up. Tailbone is long. Just holding yourself here at center. Bring your hands behind your hips, and as you stretch the hips forward over the knees, lift your heart, perhaps even hanging onto the heels here for full camel pose. Good. Reaching your heart straight up and not dropping the head back like that, which can cut off circulation, but looking forward or diagonally up, long neck, open heart towards the sky. Bring your hands to your heart at Namaste, pulling in there through the navel. Come back down and bow, child's pose, releasing the low back with your deep breaths. Good, slowly come on up, unroll the mat once again and return to downward facing dog. So keep the movement going here to really burn calories and tone your body. On your next inhale, you're gonna lift that left leg to the sky. Now roll to the outer right foot, right hand stays planted, and keeping the hips lifted, see if you can roll your heart to the sky for side plank. If that's too much for you, bend the top leg and plant the foot on the floor in front of you for structure, but keep the navel in, heart rolling. Press your bottom hand away from you strongly towards the front of the mat for more lift and lightness. Return to downward facing dog and walk in place. And Yogi's choice, perhaps little vinyasa here, or waving back from downward dog to plank and back again. So do something there to open up the joints and move the prana through the body. Good. Waving yourself forward and back and returning to dog, this time lifting the right leg high. So lift through the core and keep that left outer foot planted as the left hand presses away from you. You'll get a lot more lift here. Lifting, 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 reaching that top leg up, reaching the top arm up as the heart lifts. 
Bottom hand continues to press away. Strong, strong, strong here. Inhale, open the heart a little bit deeper and higher. And on your exhale, very nice. Downward facing dog, walk in place. Deep inhales and exhales. And perhaps yogi's choice, plank waves back to dog or full vinyasa. We're gonna move into wild thing pose. So roll onto the outside edge of your right foot. Begin inside plank here. This time step the top foot over, bend the knee. Match the other leg to it and reaching the hips and heart up and over, start to open through your heart. Some of you here can even back the head off and reach the floor with your other hand, turning both hands to face the feet in full wheel. No rush towards that. The pose is strong enough as it is. Now you turn the hand that was on the mat back towards the front of the mat, opening the heart and coming up and over back to downward facing dog. Walk in place, returning to dog pose here and trying it on the other side. Good. Rolling onto the left side, Vashisthasana. Reaching the arm to the sky. Top leg is going to lift up for just a moment. And then bend, plant on the floor behind you. The other one bends too. Now it goes hips, lift. Heart lifts and rolls open. And you want to back the head off. The only way to get to the floor is to bend your standing elbow there. So you've got to bend that one arm and catch the floor. And then turn the other one. It takes time and courage. Reaching up into full wheel or at your own pace coming up and over. Now the last hand that turned is the first hand to turn here, reaching, fingertips, good. So your left hand that was that turned, coming up and over, downward facing dog. Is it easy? No. Is it fun? Yeah, kind of, especially later. So take it easy and have fun with that. Inhale, forward plank. Exhale back, downward facing, moving that energy through the whole body. Take a child's pose here. Relax and restore as you squeeze the wrist for a moment or two. Good work.